Sam was the oldest kid for a very wealthy family. His father inherited one of the biggest oil companies in the whole country, and his mother was a daughter of a European prince. Sam's life was very easy. As a kid, he had everything that anyone could ask for. He used to go to the best school in the city with his own driver because, at this young age, Sam had his own car that used to take him wherever he wanted. Besides, he had two mates only for serving him. In fact, Sam didn't need to go to school because his parents hired him teachers that used to visit him at home. He was going to the school only because he got to meet his friends. One day, Sam told his mother that he made a new friend at the school and he wanted to invite him over. His mother told him that it's okay to invite his friend, but she didn't know that this kid was the son of the janitor of the school. The mother thought this kid's going to the same school that Sam was going to, which means he's from the same social class. Once the mother saw the kid, she noticed that something was wrong. She asked the kid if he was going to the same class as Sam, but the kid said no. So she asked, how do you two know each other? The kid told her that his father was working in the school and sometimes his father takes him to work. At first, Sam's mother thought that this kid was a son of one of the teachers, but when she realized that he was the janitor's son, she got very angry and she kicked the kid out of the house. Sam didn't understand why his mother did that to his friend. It was the first time he sees his mother angry like that. And that night, his mother came to his room to talk to him. She told him that everyone is born into a family and not everyone gets a healthy one. For those who aren't privileged to have a good birth family, they often create a chosen family later on. The very first relationships a child has is with their parents and any siblings. Whether healthy or not, these relationships provide a model for what future relationships will look like. It's often not a conscious decision, but for better or worse, people often choose partners and friends based on how similar they are to their family. Family dynamics repeat themselves and reinforce beliefs about relationships and self. At the end, his mother said, You are our oldest son which means that one day you'll inherit all that. When this day comes, you should be a father of a family that look like you and your family. Sam wasn't angry with his mother, but at this young age, he couldn't understand what she told him. So he went to school the next day to apologize to his friend and tell him that they can meet outside. Sam had his driver hired especially to drive him wherever he wanted without asking. Sam never told his mother that the janitor's son became his best friend after she kicked him out of the house. After years, Sam graduated from college to become an engineer. For sure, he worked in his father's company. The family were very happy and proud of their son, who was in his way to take the responsibility of the big company. Sam's mother told him at this time he achieved all what his family was expecting from him. But he still had one thing left. His mother told him that he needed a wife to create his own family, and she informed that she knew a lot of girls who would love to be his wife. Sam told his mother that he didn't want a wife because he was still young and he didn't want to commit with someone at this young age. Sam's mother spent that night trying to convince her son. She told him that in good times or bad times, families can provide the affection and encouragement a person needs to be content. It can be difficult to find friends or purpose in adulthood. If a person has a strong family, they'll always be able to find the love and support they need. With their family behind them, a person will find the motivation and courage for success. On the other side, if a person isn't getting love and support from a family structure, they'll feel lonely, depressed, and maybe even hopeless. Families are hubs of tradition. Many families carry on traditions through the years by sharing stories from the past. This creates connections with family members that aren't around anymore. A person who grows up in this type of family feels like they belong to something bigger than themselves. They'll pride in being a member of a community that's gone through hardships and triumphs. In the end, Sam was convinced. He told his mother that he agreed with her, but under one condition. Sam didn't want his mother to choose for him. He wanted to find his future wife by himself. His mother told him that she didn't have a problem with that. The most important thing for her was seeing that he get married. In fact, Sam wasn't looking for anything. He just said that to his mother because... He knew that his mother would not stop talking to him about this subject until he agrees with her. That how she could convince him to become an engineer, however he wanted to study history in college. And that how she convinced him to leave the teaching job that he could get after graduating as top of his class to work with his father. After a few months of this conversation with the mother, Sam went to meet with his best friend, Alex, the janitor's son, in a local coffee shop. For sure, his family didn't know that this relationship was still going on. 
Alex suggested to a near bar he knows to have a nice time. Sam loves spending time with Alex in his neighborhood. It was the only place that he could relax. At the bar, there was a girl singing. She had a very beautiful voice. Sam felt like there wasn't anyone else in the bar but him and this beautiful girl. Sam asked Alex if he knew this girl. Alex told him that this bar used to bring someone to sing, and he would never got interested to the singing while he's drinking. When Sam went home this night, he couldn't sleep. He was thinking about that girl all night. The next morning, Sam called Alex to tell him that he'd love to go to the same bar again. Alex was surprised. He used to meet with his friend once a month because Sam was very busy in his work. Once he saw Sam, Alex understood that his friend came to see the singer. For all the night, Sam was looking to the girl and he wasn't paying any attention to Alex, who was talking to him. Alex said, Why don't you talk to her if you like her that much? Sam said, I will. But when the girl was about to leave the bar, Sam didn't go talk to her. So Alex went to her and told her that his friend liked her voice so much and invited her for a drink. At that night, Sam sat down with Anna for the first time. The girl who's going to be the love of his life. Sam was going to the same bar every night to hear her singing and then invited her over for a drink. One day, Sam told Anna that he liked her and he would love to go out with her on a date. The girl agreed with Sam to meet him over dinner. That was the first date of many dates to come. Sam and Anna fell in love before they even noticed, and one day the unexpected happened. Sam told Anna that he wanted to spend the rest of his life with her. Poor girl didn't believe what she was hearing. Sam told Anna about his family, and especially his mother. That's the girl asked him, what about your mother? Sam told her that all that his mother wanted is seeing him get married, as she's used to said, and he told her that he had a plan. Sam's plan was to inform his family after getting married. Sam and Anna went to local church and got married without telling anyone. When Sam came back home with Anna and told his family that this poor girl is his wife, his mother got very angry. She told him that this girl can't live in the palace and she needed to leave right away. But Sam told her that if Anna leaves, he'll leave with her. Sam's mother also had a plan to kick the poor girl out of the palace without letting her son know. The mother waited until her son traveled outside the city for work and she went to Anna to tell her that she didn't belong in the palace and she needed to go back to wherever she came from. The mother threatened that she would kill her and make it look like an accident if she didn't leave. Anna got really scared of the mother because it was clear to her that she wasn't joking. Anna ran away from the palace. When Sam got back, he didn't believe what his mother told him and he looked for Anna everywhere, but he couldn't find her until he gave up. After leaving the palace, Anna went back to sing in the bar again. One day when she was working, she passed out and was transferred to the hospital where she'd been told she was pregnant. At first, Anna thought about contacting Sam and telling him, but she was very scared of his mother, so she decided not to do so, especially that she was afraid for her kid. The evil woman could kill him too. After nine months, she gave birth to a very beautiful kid. It was a boy who looked exactly like his father. Anna was very happy and she wished that her husband was with her. Anna used to take her son with her to work, where he learned all of her songs, especially the songs that she wrote for Sam. Anna's son, Ted, had a very beautiful voice, just like her mother, but she didn't want him to sing. She wanted him to go to a good college like his father. After a few years, Anna got very sick, and she couldn't work. Ted, who was seven years old at the time, found himself responsible for feeding himself and his sick mother. The kid needed a work to afford buying food. So he decided to sing in the street and collect change. One day he was singing in the street. He was singing the song that his mother wrote to Sam, and suddenly a Bugatti stopped to hear the song. The guy approached from Ted and said, I will give you a hundred dollars if you tell me who taught you this song. The kid told him that his mother taught him everything, including the song. The poor kid didn't realize that he was talking to his own father. Sam didn't believe that this kid could be his son, especially that he noticed that he looked like him. Sam told Ted that he would give him another hundred dollars if he takes him to his mother. The kid agreed and took him back to home, where Sam finally saw his wife again. She was very sick, but he recognized her anyway. Anna told Sam the full story that ended up by her son singing in the street for money. Sam told his wife that he never believed what her mother told him about her running away without reason. He also told her that his parents died in a car accident a couple of years ago. Sam took his wife and his son with him to the palace, and poor Anna became the lady of the palace.